In this video, we'll be discussing Symbolica questions. To start, go to the Create button at the top left and then click on Question. This will bring you to the Question Editor. Here you can manipulate various characteristics of the question, including the name, mode, instructions, and keys. Let's use the Mode Selection drop-down menu to select our mode, Symbolic Mode. Symbolic mode allows students to answer with variables or symbols. In the question field, we'll insert our instructions. What is the equation of the line passing through the points 0, 2 and 1, 6? We've added an HTML break tag to insert white space between our answer blank notation, y equals blank, in our instructions. This means that the student will answer with something along the lines of 4x plus 2. Our next step is to create our answer key. There are three components for a symbolic mode answer key. The first involves Perl. We open Perl with the EQN tag and then specify a variable $pad, all capitals. We set that variable equal to a string. The contents of the string depend upon your discipline. If you're teaching a physics course, you'll want to use phys. This creates the phys pad for the symbolic answer blank. If you're teaching a developmental mathematics course, such as algebra, trigonometry, or geometry, you'll want to use dev math. This creates the math pad. If you're teaching a calculus level course, or other higher level mathematics, you'll want to use calc. This will create the calc pad. We'll use the calc pad for this question. We close Perl with an empty string, and our first component is complete. The second component is a list of variables that students will use in their responses. In this particular question, the only variable is x. If students needed more variables to enter their response, then we would separate those variables in the list by using commas, such as x, comma, y, comma, z, and so forth. Let's remove the variables that we don't need and end our list with a colon. This second component is now complete, and we can move on to our final component. Here we'll write the answer, 4x plus 2. The order in which we write the answer does not matter. For example, we could have written 2 plus 4x. You'll notice that I'm using implicit multiplication here. Other operations such as exponents are similar to the way that you would write emails to a colleague. This question is now a fully formed symbolic mode question. We could add additional randomization or customization, but let's test preview and see our results. On the right side, you can see our answer key, 4x plus 2, and on the left, you can see our answer blank along with the calc pad. Any equivalent answer will be accepted. So a student that enters an answer such as 2 plus 4x and submits will get a green check mark. This check for answer equivalence happens automatically. Another student might use a different response, such as 2 times 2x plus 1. This is also an acceptable response, and we'll get the green check. This concludes this video on symbolic mode coding. You can look below this video for additional information and resources.